Have you ever wondered what led to one of the most devastating conflicts in human history, World War II? Let's rewind to the early 20th century, a time when the world was still reeling from the aftermath of World War I. The Treaty of Versailles, signed in 1919, was meant to ensure lasting peace, but instead it created a perfect storm for another conflict. It left Germany economically crippled, full of resentment and ripe for the rise of extremism. Enter stage right, fascism, a political ideology that emphasizes aggressive nationalism, dictatorial power, and the suppression of political dissent. It was in this soil, fertilized by economic hardship and political disillusionment, that the seeds of fascism took root. Now shift your gaze to Italy. Here Benito Mussolini was using the same playbook, exploiting economic turmoil and social unrest to establish his fascist regime. Back in Germany, a charismatic speaker named Adolf Hitler was gaining popularity, promising to restore Germany to its former glory. Meanwhile, the League of Nations, the precursor to the United Nations, was formed with the noble intention of preventing such a catastrophe from happening again. But unfortunately, it was as effective as a chocolate teapot. Struggling to assert any real power, its failure to stop the aggressive expansion of fascist regimes only added fuel to the growing fire. The world was spinning a dangerous dance with economic and political factors intertwining in a deadly tango. The Great Depression was hitting economies worldwide, further strengthening the appeal of extremist ideologies. Hitler and Mussolini were gaining momentum, their aggressive policies and expansionist ideologies going largely unchecked. In the midst of this global tension, alliances were being formed, pacts were being signed, and silently, almost imperceptibly, the world was inching closer to the brink of another catastrophic war. So there you have it. A potent blend of economic hardship, political instability, failed diplomacy, and the rise of extremism, all brewing together in the world's pressure cooker. As tensions escalated, the stage was set for a conflict of unprecedented scale. September 1st, 1939 marked the beginning of a conflict that would engulf the entire world. A day etched in history when Germany, under the rule of Adolf Hitler, invaded Poland without a declaration of war. This act of aggression was the first domino to fall in what would become World War II. The world watched in anticipation as Britain and France responded, honoring their pledge to Poland. On September 3rd, they declared war on Germany, drawing their nations into the maelstrom. But it wasn't an immediate call to arms. This period, often referred to as the phony war, saw little military action, a deceptive calm before the storm. Meanwhile, the Axis powers led by Germany, Italy, and Japan were notching up early victories. They were expanding their territories and strengthening their grip, a chilling foreshadowing of the devastation to come. However, as we'll see, their initial triumphs were not a guarantee of ultimate victory. But this was just the beginning. The war was about to escalate. Despite initial victories, the Axis powers would soon face significant challenges. As the war machine of the Axis powers churned across Europe and Asia, the momentum seemed unstoppable. But as with all things, nothing lasts forever. Let's take a step back to the summer of 1940 to the skies over Britain. The Battle of Britain was in full swing. The German Luftwaffe, confident and seemingly invincible, sought to gain air superiority over the Royal Air Force. But the British, resilient as ever, held their ground. The Luftwaffe was repelled, marking the first major defeat for the Nazis and a turning point in the war. Then, in 1941, Hitler turned his gaze eastward, launching an invasion of the Soviet Union. Operation Barbarossa, as it was named, was a colossal gamble. It was a brutal and bitter campaign, with the harsh Russian winter and fierce Soviet resistance proving to be formidable adversaries. The Battle of Stalingrad, one of the deadliest in history, was a crushing defeat for the German forces and marked a significant turning point on the Eastern Front. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, the United States had been maintaining a stance of neutrality. But everything changed on a fateful day in December 1941. The Japanese, in a surprise attack, bombed Pearl Harbor. This act of aggression was a wake-up call, pulling the United States out of its isolationist stance and thrusting it into the global conflict. With the entry of the United States and its industrial might, the balance of power began to shift. The United States brought with it not just manpower and resources, 
but also a renewed determination and resolve to fight against the Axis powers. The tide was turning against the Axis powers, but the war was far from over. This was just the beginning of the end, a pivotal moment that marked the shift from defense to offense for the Allies. But the road ahead was still fraught with challenges and sacrifices, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who fought against the tyranny of the Axis powers. The final years of World War II were marked by some of the most brutal and decisive battles in history. As the Allies pushed towards victory, they faced fierce resistance, leading to monumental conflicts that would shape the final outcome of the war. Among these was the D-Day invasion, a massive joint effort by the Allied forces. On the 6th of June 1944, over 150,000 troops stormed the beaches of Normandy, France. This monumental assault marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany, a turning point that swung the pendulum firmly in favor of the Allies. Yet, the road to victory was far from smooth. In the bitter winter of 44, the Battle of the Bulge saw the last major offensive by the Germans on the Western Front. Despite the harsh conditions and the surprise attack, the Allies held their ground, pushing back the German forces in a defining moment of resilience and determination. The final push towards victory took place in the heart of Germany itself. The Battle of Berlin, a brutal and bloody conflict, saw the Red Army encircling and eventually capturing the German capital. The fall of Berlin signaled the imminent collapse of the Third Reich, marking a pivotal moment in the war. However, the war was not over. The Pacific theater still raged on, culminating in the dropping of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These unprecedented acts of destruction brought a swift and devastating end to the war with Japan. The sheer destructiveness of these bombs left an indelible mark on history, a stark reminder of the devastating power of nuclear weapons. On September 2, 1945, the war officially ended with the surrender of Japan. The world breathed a sigh of relief as the most destructive conflict in human history drew to a close. Yet the scars of this war would linger, shaping the world in ways that are still felt to this day. The end of the war marked the beginning of a new era. As World War II concluded, the landscape of global politics and society was irrevocably altered. The ruins of war, both physical and metaphorical, gave birth to a world that sought to prevent such a catastrophic conflict in the future. In the wake of the war, the United Nations was formed in 1945, a beacon of hope in a world scarred by conflict. Born out of the ashes of the failed League of Nations, this new international body aimed to maintain global peace and security, foster friendly relations between nations, and promote social progress, better living standards, and human rights. The formation of the United Nations was a landmark moment in human history, a commitment to collective action for the betterment of all. At the same time, the tectonic plates of global power began to shift. The war had left two superpowers standing, the United States and the Soviet Union. Their ideological differences coupled with their nuclear capabilities gave rise to the Cold War, a silent, frosty conflict that lasted for over four decades. This was a new kind of war, one of espionage and propaganda, a battle not for territory but for the hearts and minds of people around the globe. Meanwhile, the aftershocks of the war were felt in Asia and Africa, where the process of decolonization began to unfold. Empires crumbled and new nations emerged, breaking free from the shackles of colonial rule. This wave of independence was another significant consequence of the war, reshaping the geopolitical map and setting the stage for the rise of the Global South. The aftermath of World War II had a profound and lasting impact. It shaped our world in ways that are still evident today, from the United Nations work to the lingering tensions of the Cold War to the independent nations that now thrive in Asia and Africa. World War II was more than a war. It was a turning point in human history that continues to shape our world today. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. World War II, a conflict of staggering proportions, was set in motion due to a complex web of causes, including the aftermath of World War I, political unrest, and the rise of dictatorial regimes. The war unfolded in stages, beginning with Germany's aggressive expansion, leading to the global conflict that saw some of the darkest days in human history. Key turning points such as the Battle of Stalingrad, the Normandy invasion, and the dropping of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki 
signaled shifts in the tide of war, ultimately leading to the unconditional surrender of Axis powers. The aftermath was far-reaching and profound. It reshaped the geopolitical landscape, set the stage for the Cold War, and led to a collective commitment to prevent such devastating conflicts in the future. Remember, history is not just about the past, it's about understanding our present and 